Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make some dark orchestral trap beats in the style of somebody like Metro Boomin. So when it comes to these dark and orchestral sounding beats, we firstly want to focus on sound selection. We pretty much want to choose some sounds that are super rich, deep, and full of character. This would usually be some sounds like strings, pianos, or even choirs. As for the darker elements of the beat, we can also consider using sounds with lower frequencies, such as synth basses and so on. We also want to make sure that we use some effects such as reverb or delay, just so we can really add some depth and ambience to the sounds we are using. As for our main pattern, this is what we have to start off with. So one of the most important steps when it comes to the main melody of the sample is to have a dark, repetitive and simple pattern. So one of the best ways to really create tension in your sample is to actually use these notes that are right next to each other inside of the scale. So if you just use these in succession, just like we are doing here, it is really going to create that tension and enhance the dark vibe you're looking for. So really just to clarify my point, it is going from this F to this E over here, and then we are going straight back to the F again. If we just look at the highlighted notes, these are all the notes that are inside of the scale. So we can see we have two notes that are right next to each other right here. We have them here and we also have them here and here. So really just make sure that you are using these notes right after one another. You're seriously going to hear the tension immediately. Now the pattern as a whole is also super simple. We are literally just using the same chord over and over again. We're just lowering the middle note one semitone down. Then we have literally just copied this same exact first pattern over to this second one over here. And we have literally just done some slight switch ups at the end over here just so it's not too repetitive. As for the effects we are using on the piano. I just started off with a quick little roam over here at about 19%. This is pretty much just a reverb, so you can pretty much use any reverb you like. Now with that, I've also added this J37. It's pretty much just a tape saturation to give it some more color. And lastly, we just have this super simple EQ at the end, just cutting out the low end and a little bit of the mids as well. So now that we have the main chord progression down, we also want to add a little bit of a top melody just so we can add some more movement to the sample. So what we want to do now is actually add some sounds that are complementing the main chord progression. In my my opinion the best way to actually do this is just to add some instruments like plucks or bells or like we did in this case which was actually just use the same exact piano but we are going to put it up a couple octaves and then we can also experiment with some different effects like distortion or some filter pretty much just so we can add some texture and some differences to the sample so it's not the exact same as the piano on the chord progression So as for the top melody, we are still using those notes that are right next to each other. So I'm really focusing on this E right next to the F, going back to the E over here and pretty much keeping these consistent throughout the whole top line. Now to switch it up a little bit with the effects, I've actually just added this Kickstart 2 at about 43%. This kind of gives the top line a little bit of a pulsing type of effect. With this, I've also added a delay and a filter using this preset over here in Effect Track. It's just this mid rest slapper preset. It's seriously one of my go-to presets when you're going for some dark stuff. Now let's quickly just take a listen to how the top line sounds with the main chord progression. So you can really hear how the top line enhances that dark vibe. But now to really get that orchestral type of sound, we actually want to start adding some layers. So like I said, using instruments like strings or choirs is really going to enhance the atmosphere of the whole sample we have. So one of the best ways to actually do this is just to layer the piano chords with one of the sounds. So in this case, I'm just going to use a choir type of sound and pretty much copy the exact same piano chords over to the choir. So it just acts like a layer and it gives the sample some more atmosphere. Then we can later actually use the strings as more of a counter melody to the whole sample. So everything that I'm doing here is actually just using a choir and I have literally just copy pasted the same exact piano chords over to this one, but I have actually layered it twice. So we have one above the other one. And together with the other elements we added before, it is really going to fill out the whole sample. So it sounds a bit more full.
Now, like I said, for the strings, we're just gonna use this instrument as more of a counter melody. So I'm just using this lyrical cello string from Sonoscore in Contact. And for the pattern, pretty much everything we're doing is just following the top line of the piano, but just switching it up a little bit so it's not the exact same. So again, we're still focusing on these notes that are right next to each other. For the effects on the string, I've just added a Rome yet again, but I wanted a more vintage sound of the strings as well, so I've also added this RC20 using the Vinyl 3 preset. Again, a little bit of a low cut EQ over here. And lastly, some more filtering using Effect Track. But this time, I'm actually just using this Rich Echo preset instead of the last one. Now, to pretty much finish off the whole sample, I have actually just went over to my Imperial One Shot Kit, and I just went into the basses and I dragged in this stash bass over here. So just to fill out that low end, I've pretty much just copied the root notes from the piano and pasted it over to this sub bass. That right there is pretty much everything for the sample. Now I think it's time we add some drums to this. As for the drum sounds I'm using, they are all coming from my Euphoria bundle kit. So if you guys like the sounds you hear from this one, you can obviously check out the kit. It's on my website, bbmarco.com, or you can just click the first link down below. So we're just starting off with this simple clap and snare pattern. Next, we just want to add some hi-hats. As for the pattern, I really don't want to overcomplicate it. So again, I'm just using my Euphoria bundle kit, but I'm going to the MIDI section this time, and I'm pretty much just going to drag in a MIDI from the pack. Yeah, this is a super simple hi-hat pattern. Still a little bit bouncy, but it's not too complicated. So let's add some snares. Get some more of that bounce. Just adding some perks for some more bounce as well. A little bit of an open hat as well. Now I think it's time we add the 808 and the kick. Now for these type of beats, I really like going for a more long lasting 808, but let's try to keep the pattern a little bit more simple than usual. Yeah, this right here is super hard. Now I'm quickly just gonna layer that 808 with a kick pattern as well. But a super cool trick you guys can actually do when it comes to the kick pattern, is actually to move some of the kick hits a little bit before or after the 808. Okay, like this one right here is perfect. So now that we pretty much have the full beat down, the last type of things we actually want to add is just some risers or some impacts just to really finish off the tension of the whole beat and really make it clear when it kind of goes from the hook and the verse. And so again, I'm just going over to the kit. I'm going to the risers over here and I'm pretty much just going to drag in this first one. You can also play a little bit around with the effects since this is a super dark orchestral beat. I actually want to add this effect in as well. As you guys can hear, it's a crowd sound. So I'm just going to play a little bit around with the arrangement for these effects and the risers. And then I'm going to show you guys the final beat all right so here we have the full beat so we just have the two pianos and the bass in the intro shut up Marco. some of those effects in there as well we drop into the hook now the strings come in as well kind of slows down the piano top line comes in the strings 
are back for the main verse. Then we go down to the bridge. Slowly builds up to the intro. And then it drops. 